Well, Thomas, firstly, um, happy anniversary. And happy <laughs> birthday. What, what, yeah. what, what do we, de- we describe it as? Um, it's been quite a, quite a momentous 12 months, isn't it, really, from, from your point of view, uh, being in charge of this football club? Yeah. I would say it's been, for me personally, uh, 12 um, great months. Um, I appreciate and I enjoy every single day, uh, especially here at the Jersey World, where we do the, the daily work with the players, the staff and everybody around. Um, and, and then, of course, there's been a lot of, um, yeah, oh, not a lot, but I would say a lot of um, very good experiences going away playing at home at, at Griffin Park and there's been some hill, luckily some a lot of ups but also a few downs mm. but that that's football um, mainly I would say that I'm enjoying it a lot and I think we as a football club we have um, a, gr- a great future um, to look into uh, and work towards and, and that's that's what we try to to do every single day to to make their future as bright as possible. Mm. I mean, as you say, there have been some very low moments and not necessarily always on the pitch. Obviously, you know, it, it, some, some very low moments the club had to deal with it within the last 12 months. From the positive point of view, what, what, what stands out as your highlight of the last 12 months? Um, that's a good question. Of course, we all we'll always think uh, about some, some specific games where, you know, everything is... Uh, Clicking and everything is to just that that top performance that there is. There are some games, of course, where where everything was fantastic. But you know, sometimes I'm thinking, oh, shit. <coughs> that was difficult. Bless you. Did you get that online? <laughs> uh, uh, when we just when you asked me, the first thing that actually popped into my head was, I think the best thing is actually that this club is so fantastic to be part of. The people in the in the club. Uh, the togetherness, um, the atmosphere uh, you feel every single day is remarkable. I think that's by far the best thing. Then, of course, we all, we all want you know, to see all the hard work we put into this, all of us, um, you know, that's, that's going into a, a, a top performance and a top win. And then, of course, there's been some, some great, um, uh, great results, especially at home last year, I would say, of course, the... Um, the Hull game, the, mm. um, the Stoke game, the, the Leeds game where we won as well. I think th- th- those are some of the high. The QPR were winning 3 0. Um, and then I'm pretty satisfied um, when we try to break that bad uh, away performance spell or re- away result spell uh, with the win uh, against Middlesbrough. Mm. Um, I think that was, a, that was a big box to tick. Um. We're going into another what stretch of what, five games after this international break, and there is another one to come after that. But yeah. um, international breaks, quite a lot of people say oh, it's an opportunity to get everyone together and to work on things and to make sure that you know you can kick on. But that doesn't happen, does it? Because you lose players or you players are a recovery. So, so what, has this particular break been useful for you? Yeah, I would say I think it's always useful um, because we we still have. Uh, 12, I would say, um, outfielders and two, our two goalkeepers. So we still have a, you know, a decent amount of players from, from our squad. So we, we, I think we had 10, 9, 10 players away or something like that. Right. Which we as a club is very proud of. Yeah. If, you, if you're going back a few years, we never had have any players more or less away in the, in the international breaks. Um, so we're very pleased and proud that we, you know, been rising to this level. Um, as a coach, of course, I prefer to get to have all of them here mm. to to improve them and you know to work on specific areas we want to want to improve. But 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 we find the areas that we worked extremely hard on the on the on the offensive um, final third in terms of uh, creating chances, um, getting into the right areas, and constantly uh, uh, coaching that. So that's been the. The big thing. Yeah, you mentioned that obviously. I mean, it's there's been a lot of onus on on one particular player scoring the goals. You have another option, uh, maybe as a, as a nine with Ollie's flexibility. We've talked about that before. Yeah. Um, are we likely to see that option being used over the next few weeks with um, with, with your other potential number nine, maybe getting more more minutes now that he's sort of fully up to speed? Um, I would say that um, yeah, that's, that's I would say that's likely. We're getting closer, more and more, uh, closer, closer. To see him top fit, 
Um, and we had a, a game beca- behind closed doors where he played 90 minutes and he's looking more and more fit. Yeah. He's not there yet, 100%. We had a chat with him, uh, me and Chris Hatle- Haslam, um, our head of performance uh, Tuesday, mm-hmm. where we, we are pleased with his developing, but we also know that in, there's another level for him to go, to be 100% top fit to go 90 minutes and, and could go action on action on action. Um, and he knows that and he's aware on it and of it and he's he's working very hard towards towards that level but he's, he's getting closer and it's nice to have that opportunity because he, Nikos is a, he's a quality player his touch and his finish and his reading of the game he just is a top quality player and I see more of these quality actions now so so hopefully um, we will see him more on the pitch mm. um, so we start with Millwall you know this, this next run of games it's a home game it's a, it's a London derby against Millwall side we're in a bit of transition because obviously there's a managerial change yeah. there yeah and um, does that make it difficult actually to plan for them when, when there is this sort of flux with between maybe I mean Adam Barrett may well be you know the manager uh, full time but d- does it make it difficult to prepare to quite know what what what, uh, what you're going to get now that's been a change slightly uh, I would say especially because they only played one game yeah and that game was interrupted of a red card after 15 minutes that which always changed the the. Um, uh, the, the story of the of the game. Um, so um, yeah, that changed a little bit because we we don't have any any footage, any you know enough how 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 do they want to do things. I think it's so ingrained in them the Millwall way that that will be most of the the, the game will be on on, the, on on that term or they will try to to play in that way. If they want to do something specifically different, yeah, maybe, but it'll not be. I don't think I don't expect it to be fully. Uh, ingrained and trained and drilled into them yet. Mm. Yeah, I mean they are a, a team um, that have have had that sort of ingrained into them about being difficult of a breakdown, haven't they? So that, that there's a challenge, especially away from home. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think they know when they're going to Griffin Park. They know they need to defend unbelievable well uh, when they're going to face us. And I don't think that will change their two banks of four and then maybe one and one or two. And we need to be able to to break that down. Sometimes we'll see ten players in in their own eighteen yard box, and that's that's difficult to break down. But we need to to face that chance, and we're ready for it. And mm. we've been um, training a lot on that. We know they'll be good on set pieces, um, and we know they'll play fairly direct. Maybe that's the tiny bit yeah. that uh, Adam will maybe change. But um, but we're ready for that. Mm, yeah, and, and in a player like Matt Smith, who was at a former club, yeah. um, I mean Brentford fans are fully aware of how dangerous he can be from you know just a nuisance in the penalty area. Him, Bod Varson, both physical elements. So yeah. defending that physicality is a, is a challenge for your defenders. No, yeah, I think that's a good challenge for us. I think is uh, one the more we can have the ball, the, the better, and we will defend. Um, but also we we proven this year so many times that we are a much better and a, and a very good defending side uh, and we know that yes there'll be set pieces yes in open play there'll be some second ball situation need to defend and there will also be some defending of the box uh, stop the crosses that the three key areas we've been focusing on um, that we need to be defending well um, and then we can mim- minimize that if we have the ball more mm. And as a coach, you look at performance obviously mm-hmm. did you go into this international break a little frustrated by the number of points or, or maybe not a, as many points as you'd like on the board after yeah. after the, the first couple of sets of games. I think in um, in life and in football, if you put a lot of effort into things and you don't think you get the reward, it's always a, a mental challenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, not to get too frustrated, uh, but no, if, especially when you look at the performances that yeah. we are on track. I just told the players today we are on track um, in terms of what we want to do and in terms of performance. Mm-hmm. But very important, we can't feel sorry for ourselves because we thought or think we deserved more. There's only two ways out of this, two key areas we need to do to get out of this. One is the, is you know our head down, keep working hard, maybe even harder yeah. to to uh, to change those good performances or transform the good performance into three points. And second thing, the uh, second thing, a, a top attitude. Uh, no matter what we do, um, and, and they've been really good. Mm. And, and I still believe it's always tricky to say that, but I have massive belief in this squad, these players, 
and I know it's just a matter of time where I will click and we've seen some very good examples against Derby home against Barnsley away I was also say, I will also say against Bristol at, um, at home that we are close to get up to, to that temple one to, to be at so that's dangerous for everyone else when it clicks I mean that 100% mm. uh, 100% but also the reason that we it's not like it's not like okay yes bang Millwall first second now we're going hopefully <laughs> that's what we're aiming for and training for and that's that's the that's the game plan uh, but yeah 100% when it clicks we're very dangerous and, and finally the squad news obviously we know that Sergi's out now for, yeah. for a length of time but what about everyone else and especially the players you, know, you, you keep your fingers crossed when players go away as well don't you yeah everybody's fit so that's a positive thing except from yeah Sergi and Lugaratic Brilliant. That's great. Lovely. Good.